the meals on wheels doing? Huh? Still good. You still, still going kicking, strong. Kicking that? Yeah, Do but we, we always need volunteers. Always? Always. Yeah. It changes season to season. Yeah. So I'm always happy to hear from anybody that's got a couple hours well, a month. We're, we're going to start promoting you. I would love that. We uh, we got an anonymous uh, donor to, to help. I heard that promote. rumor. You did? I did. Okay. Well, um, and I'm, welcome to. My anonymous donor is um, someone right. I'm most grateful for. Hey, you bet. All right. Well, let's get some more people driving. Great. And, right? Great. Okay. You I would got appreciate it. it. You got it. Thank you. Yep. So, how you doing? We're doing amazing. We had a yeah, great season. Yeah, what's going on? We had a great season. You had a great season? We had a great like, season. Like, what does that mean? It just means we had. More riders than ever. More riders More than, than ever. ever. More than ever. How are you doing, Scott? Good. Yeah, How's you know? Scott. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. I don't think I met him. He's new. He's my... my. Oh, the husband. Yeah. Yes. This is the guy. I feel like I Remember recognize the last time you in Facebook. The last time you interviewed me, I was single. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. This is amazing. I got, yeah, I got a lot of good. calls, by God the way, about good. that. <laughs> hey, is that yeah. the Christian woman still single? <laughs> Nope. For good reason. Yeah. Nope. She's not anymore. Not anymore. You grabbed her. Yeah. You got a good one there, buddy. Oh, <laughs> All right. So getting back to these wheelers things, right? You're still at it. We're still at it. This is our seventh here, year. Our seventh you, year. Okay. We'll get into that. But I know you were hot on keeping the salt, uh, the um, uh, island home. Our island home where it is. Yes. You still are. Still advocating, okay. keeping okay. it where it is, right. investing in a new facility, yeah. um, which I think the, the, there are plans to do that. Okay. They've been presented at the right. town meetings, and then they're going to vote in April. So we're going to be there. And, okay. That's gonna, yeah. We're going to hear more about that. Yes. Okay. It's going to be. Now, the wheelers, what do you, so you had a lot more people, right? You we had a more, lot more people yeah. because Island Home decided that they were going to use their own van to get the residents back and forth to Don Allen. Okay. Because formerly when we used NERDA, if somebody was sick, oh, yeah, we right. couldn't substitute another person. So then there was a missing, so then there was an empty bike. So this way, just between um, more reinforcement with volunteers and having Island Home use their own van, we had our record amount of people that got rides this summer. We had a regular community rider. It's open to community riders. Yep. And so we have one chair that's open for them. And, and this day. year we had one. Yep. We had a regular community rider, which is really what cool. What does that mean? Community so it means like if there's somebody, a member of the community that's not an Island Home resident, yeah. they can call us up. Oh, okay. And we can dedicate a chair to them like every Monday afternoon. So they can come out and be part of the Monday afternoon party way. And what about volunteers? So we're always looking looking for volunteers. Yeah, they need them for yeah the, I mean, the too. more volunteers yeah, we have, the more people we can take out. Yeah, exactly. So we'd like to add a day next year. Okay. Um, so we usually ride in the mornings or in the afternoons. And, yeah, it's like a two ahead. and a half hour commitment right. once a week. Once a week, right. Same, same, same but, time well, slot. not through the entire year. No, just like uh, Memorial Day through Labor Day. Okay. Yeah, okay. and we'll be training in May. All right. Yeah. Well, it's nice to meet you. Oh, thank okay. you. I'll, I'll see you around now that I know who you are. All right. You're holding the, the book up and everything for, med for Medicare. Yeah, because You're representing them. Because and uh, it's open enrollment period for Medicare from the 15th of October until the December 7th. Yeah. And everybody wants to make changes to any parts of their Medicare programs. They can come in without any rules or regulations preventing them from doing it right now. And how old do you have to be? 65. Yeah. Uh, Where do they? How do they do that? How do they uh, enroll? You, uh, in, preferably in the three months before you turn 65, you call up Social Security. If Falmouth is good enough, and they because they have all the, the the work records, and so they will look up your work records if you're qualified. They'll send you a Social Security card. And you're re you're ready to go. And that's it. No more health. No, you don't have to pay for anything for any drugs. Oh or, uh, no, you pay for a lot. They, they only, but they pay a major portion. They pay a major portion, but you still end up paying usually. Everybody, Do you have to get supplements? Is that a good idea too? I, it is a very good supplement because uh, 
otherwise you 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 can be paying. It does. It will give. Let me give you an example. All right. There's a limit to the number of days in the hospital that Medicare will pay for before they stop paying. If you have a supplemental insurance, depending on the policy, they'll pay 50, 100 extra days, and those days would have been billed to you at at least $600 a day. Thank you. How much? 600 a day, at least. At least. Depending on where uh, yeah. where you are, uh, de depending on which which you may be in a different state, you may be gone on elsewhere. But uh, the, the supplement pro everyone should hope to have a supplement program, or, or or else if they are if they are below, depend and this varies depending on what you're talking about. If you're below 150 percent of the federal poverty level, uh, both the feds and the very generous Commonwealth of Massachusetts will help you an awful lot with with terrible drug bills. We have the best at the top five easily. In the I country. think so. Uh, I don't care. I think so. I think so. I I I, I, I can't I know the so. numbers. I mean that's what they say. That, you know, it is what they say. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're we do a good job, but we have a bureaucracy to support it, and the bureaucracy has to do we what the bureaucrats do. So you you do have to get every single piece of every single word on every single piece of paper that they need in order to be allowed to help you, and it can be a nightmare. But they work with you on it. Um, okay. People who give up are in trouble. Very cool. Where are you from? Um, I'm wearing lots of hats. Okay. So I'm the director at the community school. Oh, you are the director. Yes, I'm a oh. co-chair of the pediatric advisory at okay. the hospital. Okay. I'm also wearing a Swim Across America hat today, so I got lots of places oh, to be. You got a lot of uh, yeah. <laughs> diverse here, man. So. Teal. Keep it up, Teal. The Teal Pumpkin Project yeah. is a nationwide initiative that the Pediatric Advisory has brought to Nantucket, and we're trying to spread awareness about inclusion of kids with food allergies. So what we have been able to do is collect generous donations from community partners and businesses, some families, and invest in these fun teal pumpkins and the goodies that would go inside that are non-food related. So. We, we give them um, ideas so that hopefully they can take this and pay it forward maybe next Halloween that they would fill their teal pumpkin with non-food related items. Okay, when, it's not only because uh, they have allergies, it's like they don't need to eat that much junk. Do they? Come on. That is true. <laughs> I mean, that, that is but true. But you don't want to say it, but I can. <laughs> well, the teal pumpkin project itself is really specific to um, being inclusive and kind to kids with allergies. But yeah, there are benefits all around. Of and course. kids sometimes like this stuff. I mean, if they know Definitely. that they can get the Definitely. toys, they're going to diversify. Definitely. Yes. Mary. Hello, how are you? <laughs> what are you, running the show over there now? I am running the show over there. You? Yes, this my, was my fifth season. Did you break all records this year? Well, we haven't announced our gift yet. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so we're what going. What do you mean, gift? Our gift to the hospital. Oh, I see. Yes, yeah, so. On November 4th, at our annual meeting, the board meeting, they present the check to the hospital. Okay, rumor has it. Yes. What's that? That it's a big check. <laughs> we'll see. All right, Mary, you're good. <laughs> All right.